welcome to the African Child Model College online teaching. I'll be taking mathematics for junior secondary school years three. Our topic for today is simultaneous linear equations. How can we solve simultaneous linear equations using elimination method? Before we start, what is linear equation? Linear equation is an equation with two variables. No variable is raised to power greater than one. That is, for instance, if you have x plus three equal to x plus y equal to three, you can see that the power of x here is raised to power one, and the power of y here is raised to power one. This is an example of linear equation. Again, 3x minus 1 equal to negative 1. The power of x here is raised to power 1, while the power of y here is also raised to power 1. So because of that, we call it linear equation. Then we move to simultaneous linear equation. Simultaneous linear equation is two linear equations in two variables taken together. That is, when you have two linear equations, and you solve them together, we are going to have simultaneous linear equation. For instance, if you have x plus y equal to 3, and 2x minus 4 equal to 5, by the time you solve them together, you are going to have simultaneous linear equation. Now, how can we solve simultaneous linear equation using elimination method? Let us look at this example. Solve x plus y equal to 9 and y minus x equal to 5. Before you can apply your elimination method, first and foremost, your two variables in equation 1 and equation 2 must be under each other. That is to say, x must be under x and y must be under y. Again, we are going to consider their numerical coefficients. That is, what is the coefficient of x in equation 1? And what is the coefficient of x in equation 2? The two coefficients must be the same, regardless of the sign. Then for y2, the coefficient must also be equal. Now, I said it earlier on that we need to rearrange. That is, your variable x must be under x in each of the equations. So, we have this. If you can see, I've tried to bring x in the equation 2 to under x in equation 1. So therefore, we now have x plus y equals to 9 in equation 1, and negative x plus y equals to 5 in equation 2. Now, let us consider the numerical coefficients. In equation 1, the numerical coefficient of x here is 1. Likewise, in equation 2, the molecular coefficient is also 1. Now, we can easily eliminate x. That is, we can add or subtract. Let us consider variable y2. If you look at it in equation 1, you can see that the coefficient, the numerical coefficient of y in equation 1 is 1. Likewise, in equation 2 is also 1. So we can eliminate x or y. Now, let us eliminate x. Elimination means that you want to terminate, you want to stop the operation of x in your equation. So, let us look at variable x now. Here we are having positive, here we are having negative. So, in order to eliminate x, when you're having two different signs, whether negative or positive, negative and positive, or positive and negative, you are going to add your two equations together. So therefore, if you add equation one, x in equation 1 and x in equation 2 together, you are going to get 0. So you have terminated x. Then, what of y? Look at your numerical coefficients. 1 plus 1 will give you 2. So that's why we are having 2y here. Then 9 plus 5 will give you 14. So we now look for y. How do we get y? We transpose 2. By the time you transport multiplication to the other side, it becomes division. So therefore, you are going to have y is equal to 14 divided by 2. 
which will give you 7. Since we have gotten the value of y, we need to get the value of x. I told that we have two variables, x and y. So how do we get x? You need to substitute the value of y into any of the two equations above. You can substitute the value of y into equation 1 or into equation 2. Now, we have decided to pick equation 1. So what are we going to have? We are going to have x plus y equals to 9 from our equation 1. By the time you substitute, that is you replace y with 7, you are going to get x plus 7 equals to 9. By the time you transpose plus 7 from left-hand side to the other side, it will give you negative 7. So therefore, you are going to have x equals to 9 minus 7, which is equals to 2. So we have been able to get the value of x and y. So x equals to 2 and y equals to 7 is the solution to the two simultaneous equations. Now we move to number two example. Solve x plus 2y equal to 12, 3x plus 5y equal to 26. Now we are going to solve them simultaneously by using the same method, which is elimination method. Here, the two equations have been written according to the variables. x is under x and y is under y. Now we want to eliminate. Which letter, which variable are we going to eliminate? Let us check for x first. If you look at the numerical coefficient of x in equation 1, it is 1. The numerical coefficient of x in equation 2, it is 3. Since they are not the same, so therefore we cannot eliminate x. Now, let us look at the numerical coefficients of y in equation 1 and 2. If you look at the numerical coefficient of y in equation 1, it is 5. And the numerical coefficient of y in equation 2 is also 5. We can see that the two numerical values are the same. I told you earlier on, when we are solving equation 1, that the, the numerical values must be the same before you can apply the elimination method. Now, since they are the same, and the two signs are the same, so what are we going to do? Are we going to add or subtract? We are going to subtract in order to eliminate variable y. Now, let us subtract. x plus 5y is equal to 12 is our equation 1, and 3x plus 5y equals to 26 is equation 2. So when you are subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, it means that you are going to subtract each term one after the other. That is, the negative sign there is going to affect all the terms you have in equation 2. So therefore, we are now having x minus 3x will give you negative 2x. 5y minus plus, minus times plus will give you negative. So 5y minus 5y will give you 0. So you have eliminated y. Then 12 minus 26 will give you minus negative 14. So you have to transpose the numerical coefficient of x here, which is negative 2. Negative 2 and x are joined together by multiplication sign. So when you transpose negative 2 to the other side, it will become division. So therefore, we are going to have negative 14 divided by negative 2. The negative, we divide each other. So 2 in 14, we give you 7. That is the value of the variable x. So we are now going to find the value of y. Like I said in, in example 1, you can use either of the two equations. You can use equation 1 or equation 2 in order to get the second variable. So therefore, we are using equation 1 here x plus 5y equals to 12. So we want to substitute the value of x we got from the solution here into this equation. So anywhere you see x, you substitute in for 7. So therefore, you are going to have 7 plus 5y equals to 12. Then you transpose 7 to the other side. When you transpose plus 7 to the other side, to the right-hand side, it becomes negative 7. So therefore, you now have 5y equal to 12 minus 7. 
So 5y equals to 5. Then you transpose your 5, which is multiplication in left-hand side to the other side, it becomes division. So your y will be equals to 1. So therefore, the solution to simultaneous equation in number 2 is x equals to 7 and y equal to 1. So we shall move to number 3 question. Now to example 3. Solve by using elimination method. 5d equals to 2e minus 14. 5e equals to d plus 12. How do we solve this by using our elimination method? I told you in example 1 and 2 that before you use your elimination method, your two variables in equation 1 and equation 2 must be under each other. Now, if you look at this, the variable d and e are under each other. It means that the two variables are not under each other accordingly. So you need to rewrite or rearrange. So therefore, you are going to have 5d. This 2e will cross over and it becomes negative 2e equal to negative 14. And here is d at your right hand side. You take it to the left hand side. It becomes negative d plus 5e is already at the left hand side. So you don't need to change the sign. So we are going to have negative d plus 5e equal to 12. Then we solve simultaneously. So which letter do you want to eliminate? Let us check first. Is it D or E? If you look at the numerical coefficient of D in equation 1 is 5. The numerical coefficient of D in equation 2 is 1. So therefore, the numerical coefficients are not the same. You cannot eliminate letter D or variable D. Now check your E. The numerical coefficient of E in equation 1 is 2. And the numerical coefficient of E in equation 2 is 5. So therefore, we cannot eliminate E. Are we saying that we cannot use the elimination method to solve this? No. So you need to decide which letter do you want to eliminate. Now we want to eliminate E. Fine. Check the coefficient, numerical coefficient of E in 1 and 5 and 2. We have 2 and 5. So therefore, you are going to look for the LCM or find the LCM of 2 and 5. The SM of 2 and 5 is 10. Now, you now think of a number that you can use to multiply 2 in order to give you 10. Then think of a number to multiply 5 to give you 10. So, by the time you use 5 to multiply 2, you will get 10, which is the LCM. By the time you use 2 to multiply 5 in equation 2, you will get 10. So, you will see that E is now having the same numerical coefficient, which is 10. So you can easily el eliminate E. So therefore, you are going to multiply equation 1 by 5 and equation 2 by 2. When you are multiplying a number by an equation, it must multiply each step in the equation without changing the equation. So therefore, we are going to have 5D minus 2E equal to minus 14 to be multiplied by 5, and negative d plus 5e equal to 12 to be multiplied by 2. When you do that, equation 1 now becomes 5 times 5d will give you 25d, 5 times minus 2e will give you negative 10e, negative 14 times 5 will give you negative 70. So let us call that one equation 3. I told you, when you use a number to multiply all the terms in, a, in an equation, it will not change the equation. So our equation 1 is still the same as equation 3, since we use the number to multiply all the terms in our equation. So equation 2, you use 2 to multiply each of the terms. So negative 2d becomes negative d becomes negative 2d, 5e becomes 10e, and 12 becomes 24. You call that one also equation four. Now, let us now see whether we are going to add or subtract equation from each other. If you look at the numerical coefficient of E in equation three now, it is 10. In equation four, it's also 10. 
So we can easily eliminate E. But before you eliminate, you need to consider their sign. I told you when we are solving example one and two, I said when the two signs are not the same, you are going to add the two equations together. So add equation one and equation two together, or add equation three and equation four, our two new equations together. What are you going to get? You are going to get 23D, that is 25D, Positive times negative will give you negative. So 25D minus 2D will give you 23D. Negative 10E plus times plus will give you plus. So negative 10E plus 10E will give you zero. So we have eliminated E. So negative 70 plus times plus will give you 20. We give you 24. So negative 70 plus 24 will give you negative 46. So we have gotten 3D equal to negative 46. This is just simple equation. So we can now look for D by taking 23 to the other side. You transpose 23. 23 here is multiplication. By the time you transpose it, it becomes division. So you have negative 46 divided by 23, which will give you negative 2. Now we have gotten one of the variables. So we need to look for E. Now you can substitute E into any of the four equations. Into equation one here, equation two here, three or four. So we are making use of equation two. So therefore you have five E equals to seven plus 12. You substitute for D. So it becomes five E equal to negative two plus 12. And negative two plus 12 will give you what? 10. So our E equals to 5E equals to 10. So our E will now be equal to 10 over 5. So E is equal to 2. Therefore, the solution to the simultaneous equation is D equals to negative 2 and E equals to 2. You can check your answer from any of the four equations. That is, you can substitute the value of D and E into any of your equations. So if your left-hand side is equal to right-hand side after the substitution, it means that that is the solution to the equations. But if it is not, it means that you need to cross-check again and check where you have made your mistake. So therefore, that will be the end of today's topic. So I hope you have been able to gain one or two things. In simultaneous linear equation, by using the elimination method, you need to consider your numerical value in the two equations before you can eliminate any letter. So that is the end of the topic. Now, since we have been able to see or to understand how to solve simultaneous equation, you are going to try this equation, which is solved by using elimination method. 5e minus 2b equal to 14, 2a plus 5b equal to 14. So solve it, then you drop your comments on our comment box.